everyone. Welcome to my channel. Ella dishes it out. I've got a new look going here. I hope you guys like it. Anyway, let's get started. Today we're going to be making some oxtails and some cabbage. But today, right now, all I want to do is get my oxtails seasoned uh, and let them stay seasoned overnight. So hold on and we'll get started with that. Let me just adjust my camera. Okay, so we're going to be cooking these oxtails in the crock pot. So I've got my little pan here that I'm going to season them overnight in. Um, so we're going to pour these oxtails in this bag, I mean out of this bag, into this little pan, and we're going to season them. Okay, so the seasoning that I'm going to use is going to be garlic powder. I've actually got some oxtail seasoning by Zach's. Some Old Bay, some chopped onions. I'm gonna use some, uh, whole on some diced fresh onions as well in this recipe. Okay, and then we're gonna use um, celery salt. So let's get started. Just sprinkle your seasonings over your meat. Sprinkle it all over really good, really well. Flip the sides over, flip the seasoning on the other side. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with the garlic powder. Garlic powder them over. Okay. All the powder. We're going to do oxtail seasoning. Okay. Nice helping of oxtail seasonings on them. Okay. And I'm just going to marinate them in a little bit of um, Salad dressing, Italian salad dressing, just a little. Okay, so like that. And the last thing will be the chopped onions. And I don't know if this container is even big enough to hold all of these, so I'm gonna have to stuff them down in there. Okay, so we got that. Now, let me see if I can fit all these oxtails in this little container here so that I can close the top. Looks like I got them in there, so I'm gonna put a little bit more seasoning on, on the ends. Okay. So now they're well seasoned. All right. So you can see they're well seasoned. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put my little dressing on there. Okay, let me see. Okay, so hold on, let me get my salad dressing. Salad dressing I'm going to use is, actually, you know what? I changed my mind about the type of seasoning I'm gonna put on there. I'm going to use the steakhouse seasoning. Okay, I've got a little steakhouse seasoning here that I'm gonna use by Tony Saturies. Okay, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this over it. Okay, pour a little bit of that over it. And I'm gonna put the top, I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here because I'm gonna shake it up. Okay, top on. Top on tightly. It'll go on tightly. I don't know if it will. Let's see. These oxtails are very, very big. I might have to transfer them to a bag. I think I will. I'm just gonna transfer it to a plastic bag. Because that's not gonna work. Plastic bag, Ziploc bag. Season them and season them that way. All in the bag. And then I can shake them up and make sure they're all coated. With just a tiny bit of water in there. Okay. Sink. Bag. Close it up really well. 
Now I can shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it but don't break it. All right, just shake it. Move it around. Like that. Make sure you have some air in the bag so that when you do move it around, it'll have some room to move around with. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure these are flat so that all of them can get evenly coated. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator flat like this, so all of them are laying flat. That way they'll all get coated with the seasoning, the marinade. Okay, so I'll transfer that to my refrigerator. This top right here maybe, to make sure that they stay flat when I pick it up. And transfer it to the refrigerator. So I'm gonna use that top. I'm gonna slide this on here. Okay, so they're all flat. As you can see, they're all flat. So I'm gonna take it to the refrigerator overnight. Tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do the cooking. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. So today we're gonna to be uh, using the crock pot here to make our oxtails. So I soak these oxtails overnight um, in the seasoning that I talked about earlier. So we're gonna open this bag up and put, get them started. Okay, I'm gonna turn the crock pot on. This is my trusted crock pot. I love it because all I have to do is set it and forget it. So put it in there, go about your day, do what you have to do. And it cooks itself, basically. All right, so we've got the oxtails in there. They're pretty good sized oxtails too, not too fatty. I don't like them that fatty when they're really fatty. Okay, so we've got that. I've chopped up a cup of onions. I mean, a half an onion. I chopped up a half an onion, put that in the pot. Stir it around a little bit. Okay, next we're going to add some beef broth, just a little bit to get some gravy going. Okay, I'm gonna add maybe like half a cup of beef, beef broth to the pot. Okay, do that. And then next we're going to add some liquid smoke. So got my liquid smoke here. I'm just gonna add a couple tablespoons of liquid smoke. Okay, and that's basically it. So, put the top on it, let it cook for about four or five hours, slowly, so the juices can get down in there and do its thing. So I'm gonna cook it on high for about four or five hours. And we'll come back and we'll do the rest of the meal, which is gonna be some greens. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do cabbage or turnip greens. So we're gonna do greens and cornbread and I don't know, maybe something else, but we'll figure it out as we go. All right, stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back and the oxtails are done. So let's take a look at them. See how delicious they look. Okay, I think I can turn this camera um, towards them so you can see. They've been cooking in the crock pot for about six hours now. Four on high and maybe an hour or two on low. So this is what they look like. They are delicious. Nice gravy. So I'm gonna tell you what I did. I added some more stuff to it. I added some um, beef stew mixed to this. Uh, slow cooker, McCormick slow cooker um, mix to it. So that made, you know, make the gravy thicker and it's gonna taste so good. It's beef stew gravy, slow cooker beef stew gravy, but I mean pot roast gravy, but um, it makes it look a lot more thicker and they just they just fall off the bone. They're so tender because they've been cooking all day. So next we're gonna cook, the next thing we're gonna cook is some cabbage and some yellow rice and maybe some black beans to go with this meal. Cause I always, whenever I cook um, these um, oxtails, I always add 
I always add um, rice and black beans because it's just so Jamaican to me. So I just love Jamaican food. So anyway, that's what we're gonna have today. So stay tuned for the rest of the uh, rest of the recipes. Okay guys, I'm back. We're getting ready to cook our cabbage. We got our butter. We got our carrots. I'm gonna um, shred some carrot in there. And bacon. So we'll get started with the bacon. I'm gonna put the bacon in the skillet and uh, put it in the oven so that it can start to cook. And we'll just dice this bacon up once it's done and add to our cabbage. So I'm just gonna put these pieces in here. One at a time. I found out cooking it in the oven gets it crispier and you don't have all that smoke in your house and it's just much easier. So, yeah, um, no, you guys, I see I have a new hairstyle. I'm constantly changing up my hair. So this hairstyle will, is probably just gonna be temporary for a while, but we'll see how long it lasts because I like to change up, change things up. I like to change things up. Okay, so we're gonna take this bacon, we're gonna put it in the oven and let it get let it get done. And then like I said, we're gonna dice it up and put it in our cabbage. So I'll go ahead and put that in the oven and then we'll get started slicing up the uh, the cabbage. Okay, just throw this in the oven right quick at 350 degrees. So, done that. Put this bacon to the side. Okay, we're gonna get this cabbage out. I'm just gonna start getting this cabbage ready to be cooked. Now, usually I only cook half of it, so I'm gonna cut it in half. All right, so get my knife. Just gonna dice it in half. Cause the whole cabbage is way too much for me. All right, so I'll put this to the side. That's just like two thirds of the cabbage instead of half. I'll take this top layer off because it's dirty and I don't like it. I'll throw that away. Every other piece I see that's brown, uh, I'm gonna throw away because I don't want no dirty cabbage. Okay, so now it looks pretty clean. I'm going to now slice it. Okay. So that's how I do mine. I don't know how you guys do yours, but I just go along the cabbage diagonally and slice it like so. Just go on it diagonally and slice it right to the bottom. It's kind of the same way I do my onions too as well. I'm going against the grain so that I won't have to do so much Slicing and dicing and chopping. If you go against the grain, then you got it made. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go down the middle. Well, I'll probably go down three times. Make that a little smaller. Okay. I'm go down one more time. Let's see. Okay. Maybe one more time. All right, so my cabbage is diced, sliced, and ready for the pot. But I'm gonna start it off with some butter. Oh, the butter. I'm gonna start it out with some margarine. So I'm gonna put the margarine in my skillet, melt that a little bit, put the cabbage in there, turn it on medium high, let it cook for you know a good little while until it's done. So here we go. I'm gonna get started with the pot. All right, let me go get my pot ready. Okay, so the pot I'm going to use, I'm going to use, okay, I'm going to use my big pot here. Use this pot right here. 
Okay, so let's start out with butter. Butter, adjust the camera. We're gonna start out with the butter. Okay, so the butter, I need a fork or something to get the butter. Okay, get a big old helping of butter to go on your food. I think I got too much light in here. That's why there's a glare on the camera. Two big, maybe three big helpings of margarine for this cabbage, because I'm not gonna put maybe like a very small amount of water in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the cabbage in the pot. Cabbage in there. All the pieces of cabbage. In the pot. Break up the bigger pieces. You need to. You're gonna cook down anyway. Okay? So got that in there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shred my carrot. So let me get my shredder. So I can shred my cabbage. Okay. Put it on the shredder like so. Usually I buy cabbage already shredded so I don't have to do this, but I forgot. So, but I, luckily I had some of these big carrots because I was gonna steam these big humongous carrots. But I don't have to do that now. I can just use this to shred it. And I feel like I got enough. I'll stop and put it in my pot. Okay, I feel like I might have enough now. Get that out of the shredder. I want nothing to go to waste. Okay, so we've got a big heaping of carrots here. Put those in the pot as well. Now you can put as many carrots or as least carrots as you would like. It's up to you. Okay? So then I'm gonna take my fork and I'm gonna just toss it around so it's divided evenly in the pot. And I'm only gonna add maybe a half a cup of water to this pot because it's gonna, the steam is gonna cook itself down. It's gonna cook down. So you guys know that already. And then once the bacon is done, I will add that to it later. Use a half cup of water. Now I'm gonna add some seasoning. I usually already have my seasonings there prepared and ready to go in the pot, but I forgot this time. So we're just gonna do it by here. Okay. I forgot to have it ready. Okay, so add a little salt. I don't like too much salt, so I'm not gonna do that. Pepper, I love. I hope I don't start sneezing. With this pepper, because it always makes me sneeze. Always. <coughs> always. I'm going to try to hold my breath. A little garlic powder. Okay. Got those in there, and also I'm going to add just a little bit of sugar. <coughs> I like my cabbage kind of sweet, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of sugar to it. So I've got my sugar over here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna hold my breath. A couple teaspoons of sugar to add to it. Maybe three. Okay, stir that up. It's 
ready. It's ready to go on the stove. So I'm gonna put this on the stove. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. We get this on the stove and we're gonna start on our beans and our rice. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, okay guys, I'm back. Okay, so this is the rice that I usually use to make my yellow rice, my yellow rice with. And since I did, I couldn't find any black beans, I thought surely I had some in my pantry, but I didn't. So we're going with the good old fashioned red kidney beans. So this is a pop top. I'm gonna put it, just pop it off and put it in my little handy dandy pot here. And I don't need to add any seasonings to it, but if you wanted to, you could. But I usually don't when I take it out of the can. Of course, that's your choice of what you want to do. I usually add a little bit of water to the can. Now, this is simple. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. I'm not a chef. So I don't have to do anything fancy here. Just simple. Straight out the can. Get the rice ready. So here's the rice. Got my pot here. What about two and a half cups of water? I'm gonna pour maybe half of this rice mixture in here. I'm gonna have a lot of rice. Okay, do that. This rice has seasonings in it. It's so delicious, Spanish style rice. This rice is delicious. So it's got some uh, little ingredients in here. Let's see, I can read the ingredients. Long grain, um, pear boiled rice, thyme in, um, trying to see what that seasoning is that I saw. Oh, dehydrated vegetables, onions, garlic, tomatoes, bell pepper, salt. Um, it does have MSG in it, so I don't know if you want to get that. Maybe they have some without the MSG. It's also got turmeric in it. Dehydrated chicken spices. Okay. But anyway, the rice is good. That's all I can say. So I'm gonna put it on the stove and let it cook as well. And we'll be back when everything's done. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, we're back and everything's done. This is the cabbage. It's good and creamy. Not cream. I shouldn't say creamy. It's good and ready to eat. Okay, so I'll put the stuff on that. I put the, that in the Dutch oven. And then we've got the rice here, the fluffy rice, yellow rice. It's ready. It's done. And we got the beans back there. They're done as well. So everything's ready. And um, I may cook some cornbread to go with this. All right. Talk to you. Oh, I got to add my bacon to my. Um, I got to add my bacon. All right. All right. Bye bye. Okay guys, this is the final phase of um, my cooking today. I've got these bacon pieces that I already diced up. I'm gonna add it to my cabbage. So I'm adding it to my cabbage now. I'm gonna stir it up. You can't see it yet, so I'm gonna bring the camera closer to see what I'm talking about. Okay, I've got the cabbage, I've got the I have the bacon in my cabbage. I'm mixing it up. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. I cannot wait. You know, food always tastes good the next day too, when, once the seasons have soaked in and everything. So this is gonna be delicious tomorrow because it's kind of late tonight. I'm not gonna eat it tonight, but tomorrow, oh my gosh. It's gonna be so good, I can't wait. Okay, so, and then, you know, People from the South, we always save our bacon drippings, right? So <laughs> I saved a lot of bacon drippings from this bacon because I'm not gonna lie, I burnt the first part. So I saved that and I saved, I had to cook another batch. So I saved that. So this is my bacon drippings. I'm gonna keep that to add to seasonings for other foods. So anyway, we got our cabbage, we got our rice, yellow rice. Spanish rice, we got our beans, 
and I've got cornbread and this is a complete meal all right guys thank you for watching my channel Ella dishes it out please look for other recipes on my channel um, I also um, cooked this before once before but with black beans so it's uh, it's on my channel and uh, just be sure to look at all the different uh, video recipes that I've done in the past and you will get to see what I've done. Okay. Thank you. Please like subscribe and share to my channel Ella dishes it out. Thank you so much. Love you. Bon appetit